Here I'm going to run you through how to do the, the carbonate, bicarbonate, and hydroxide tests. So what I've done is I've put carbonate into these three wells. I've put bicarbonate into these three and hydroxide into these three. And then I put my unknown, which for me I use potassium phosphate. So there's a number of tests. The first one is you add concentrated hydric acid, just a drop to each. And when we do that, what you want to pay attention to is the bubbling. So when I add that to the carbonate and the bicarbonate, you should see a lot of bubbles forming. But when I add that to the hydroxide and the phosphate, there might be a little bit of bubbling, but it will not be as much as the other ones. It looks like my bicarbonate didn't go very well there. So I'm going to a little more so you can see that, that bubbles when we add that to it. Now over time you might see some bubbles start to appear. You can see them now in the hydroxide. But bubbling is an indication that you probably have one of those. Next, you're going to add cobalt nitrate to all three. And look at the different precipitates to see which one you match the most. And this is a challenging one to do, because a lot of them look very similar. Although you can see here that I'm definitely different with my unknown than the other ones. And then after that, you can add universal indicator. Now, the bases will turn purple. Well, there's a chance that sometimes the bicarbonate will turn more blue than purple. And so it's hard to see, but this is more of a bluish hue to this one than there is to this one, which is purple. And then the last thing you can do is if you take a carbonate here, and we put a bicarbonate here, then you can add magnesium to both, and only the carbonate will precipitate. So you can see that I have a precipitate here, but not here. And that allows me to tell this is a carbonate and this is a bicarbonate. 